So I'm pleased to introduce Alex Evans. Alex has been working with the concept of the voice gym for Alex. How long have you been working with voice gym? Oh gosh, I've been collaborating with it for now near on uh, 25 years, possibly. That was my first introduced to it when I was 18, yes. So I knew Angela Kane, Mm -hmm. who was the original developer of the voice gym. She would attend some of the very non-mainstream orthodontic meetings that I would go to with, I think, <clears throat> making some very good valid points. Yep, I would agree. She, clearly, I believe that we've got a, a multifaceted problem. I'm an orthodontist, I'm seeing this from an orthodontic perspective. Mm-hmm. But Angela was seeing this, that just as I see there's not space for the teeth, she's saying there's no space for the tongue to articulate the full range of sounds. That's right. So, yeah. so and also people's attempts. So I'm taking the premise that in the modern society, everyone is slightly affected. Mm-hmm. So our functions are all affected. Mm-hmm. And the function that we're able to produce or do is um, a, co- a compensation. Yeah. So we're having to compensate to those functions. Yeah. And some people are compensating better than other people. Mm-hmm. And your history was you had a period when you struggled to compensate. Yeah, I struggled when I was 18. So I was an emerging singer um, uh, with a developing voice, but with some problems. And the solutions that the medical profession were giving me at the time didn't seem to make any sense. I'd had cameras down my throat. I'd seen doctors. I'd seen speech therapists. I'd seen vocal experts. But none of it seemed to sort of make any sense to me. But it was just by chance that I was introduced to Angela Kane and uh, immediately went over to see her after a phone call and was introduced to Voice Gym and also introduced to an idea of maybe combining some dental work, some orthodontic work, some chiropractic work and some voice and body exercise to see what effects might have on my voice uh, and uh, so I immediately just sort of signed up to this this pilot study that took place X amount of years ago <laughs> to see what would happen, and I've never looked back since. Uh, yeah, well, it, it, it you know we're, we're still within all of our fields, our respective yeah. fields. We are still kind of in the, um, producing case examples. Yeah. It's very difficult for us to go and you know produce a randomised clinically controlled trial. Yeah, that I think that day will come. Yes. I so. And I'm a little bit surprised that, should I, I don't want to label things, but mainstream medicine doesn't seem to be very interested in helping us. No. <laughs> Which was a shame because, you know, really... You know, we have we a lot all, to offer. Yeah. Well, we, 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 we all pay our taxes. Yeah. Our patients pay their taxes. I would assume that there's a system ready there to use, and yet that system turns around to us and says that we're expected to provide this evidence. Yeah. Which is, it, it's, yeah, it's a shame. It is the way it is. I hope to change that. Mm-hmm. Now I met Angela Kane. <clears throat> I, um, I don't know, probably soon after I qualified as an orthodontist, and I yeah. came back and I started. You know, I was on my hunt for mm-hmm. answers and the truth. Mm-hmm. So I met Angela Kane with some of the meetings that Andre Hedger yeah. organised, right, yeah. and I then went to visit Angela in Southampton, mm-hmm. and I was very impressed with her concepts, her ideas. The problem then came when I tried to didactically break her system down to analyze it and say okay what's working here what's working there and she didn't like that no she didn't like, and that it, it this mm. it's a bit of a problem because a lot of the people who have broken the mold who smashed through the glass ceiling of people telling you don't do that yeah. have done so with a lot of willpower and a lot of determination and because they know what they're doing, they, they mm-hmm. see what they're doing, providing great um, results. They then become very loyal to their philosophy. Yeah. And I think that that happens. That happens. Yeah. I mean, that almost always happens, I think. Yes. Almost, or not always, <laughs> but I, I see it frequently. Now, I've, I've shown you some results we're getting, some of these mm-hmm. adult results I'm getting. Clearly, these aren't growth changes. They're... they're, they're, they're literally off the wall and I'm only just got going there's so much more I can do mm-hmm. and you've shown me some results yeah. that I you know really impressive results changes in facial form mm-hmm. that you're getting from just voice and body exercise yeah go into this yeah. a little bit because you know I'm this my concept of leaving no stone unturned that I want to know 
But essentially, Voice Gym um, is an exercise program of uh, that draws on functional anatomy, functional exercise, primitive reflexes, primal patterns, a bit of Pilates thrown in there as well. Um, but at the same time as, as, as doing any body exercise, you're also exercising the muscles of the voice uh, and muscles of the, that are associated with that, muscles of the face. So it's a sort of a whole body exercise. And uh, we, we put people through a program that roughly lasts three months, but they can take on into life. And we run programs for uh, kids. Uh, we run an early voice gym and sort of starts really around the age of five or six when the voice is beginning to stabilize itself right through up into adulthood. And um, they're extremely effective. And as I say, you know, <laughs> uh, Angela and myself and another colleague Simone really worked sort of for a good 25 years sort of harnessing this 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 um this this program yeah, yeah. sorry yeah, no, no, I mean, it's, 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 <laughs> so so we're taking the base parameters you know we we all modern society has yeah. suffered from craniofacial dystrophy the, the form of the face has changed yes it's downswung yeah um, you've shown me some excellent images where what I would say you've up swung the face. The face has literally yeah. come up like this. Right. Now, Alex, down, how are you doing it? Well, what are the, the nuts? Give me a few nuts and bolts. Uh, so, uh, some facial exercise, definitely. So, we to give them essentially just about four or five mus uh, face muscle exercises, nothing to over. No, over, no, overload yeah, yeah. them. Uh, but also we take them through um, some primitive reflex exercises. So it's a bit like a, a very basic sort of, uh, sort of hesitate to use very yoga, yoga sort of poses that, that, that they can then, um, uh, or primitive reflex patterns. Sort of, I'm waffling now. So yeah, okay, 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 <laughs> come, come. I'm, I want to push you down on sort of exercises because I have a, a lot of people follow me. Yeah. Um, a lot of people will be interested in what you're doing. Yeah. But it would be good to know that they give, give, give one or two exercises. What what's the range? Give you give me one. What's your best exercise? You think? For example, well, essentially the first three exercises that we give. So we get people to lie on the floor. We get them to uh, push up off the floor. So use their voices. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, Andrew yeah, talking about this. So, so it's, it's basically yeah, yeah. So it's lying on your back, rolling over, okay. pushing up off the floor, yeah. coming to four footed, crawling, and then coming to upright. But then also exercising the vocal suspension upside down. Okay. So, so when when they're doing this first one, so you lie yep. on your back, you yep. roll over to your front, you then push yourself up, yep. and then you go on to all fours. That's right. Then you stand up. Are you during this? During this time, we are vocalizing. So you're making a, what sort of noise? A high pitched noise? No, a we low put nice. Noise? Just get them to begin with. We just get them to be, give out, let out a nice big R. You know, oh. yeah, yeah. It's a good release of the lower body and to get them to express and get used to just finding a comfortable chest resonance, something they can explore with. So I always say to yeah. them, look, imagine you see something a little bit naughty and nice, and they go, ah, and the voice just comes out. You know, what we don't want to do is start compartment putting this into a compartment. So particularly working with singers, they've got a clear idea of their vocal range. We don't have any pianos or anything like that in that room. We just get them to express and see where the sound comes out. But all the time, for me as a practitioner, I'm assessing their breathing, I'm assessing what's going on with their body when they're doing that exercise. A lot of them. You're go, familiar with your potato concepts. It is very much cool. so. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So you're, you're watching their breathing. Yeah. As they're vocalising. Absolutely, and what patterns and what rhythms of breathing they've got in their body. Rhythm is such an important word. Yeah. Um, in in what I do, uh, everyone's voice has a rhythm. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. So I have yeah. to tune into people's rhythm tune into their breath as well. But obviously at the time, I don't want them to make them aware of that, okay? I don't want them to be controlling yeah. their breathing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, And so I just have to give them exercises by which they play and have a bit of fun. They switch off that brain and just say, go back to when they were a child and start to play the voice, body, and, and see where, 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 where that takes them. Yeah. So essentially, yeah, I take them through sort of four, well, three to four different exercises that are all working the breath, the voice, the body, muscles of the face and tongue it's all integrated into these exercises and yeah so so rather than actually having to sit and exercise one muscle group mm -hmm. you're giving them an activity that's interesting yep that will exercise all of these things at the same time and uh, particularly for kids yeah because because you're never going to get them to do set exercises or you can but most won't 
Yeah, I mean, the kids are not the problem. It's the adults getting the access to adults to learn how to play again. That's the challenge. To play again? Yeah, and learn how to play. To, 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 yes. They take everything too, a little bit too seriously. Too seriously so yes. often I'll get them to read a poem and they won't have a clue what they've read. You know, they haven't actually switched off that brain that, that's thinking about the exercise and thinking, God, this is strange. What am I doing here? That's very conscious about doing X, Y, and Z. Yes. And I get to the end of the poem and say, tell me what the poem is about. And I go, oh, I've got a clue. You know? <laughs> Yes. Like, yeah, right, yeah, do yeah, it again. Yeah. This time, just read the poem. Read, okay. yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. And actually understand <laughs> and it. Understand and thinking yeah, so, about yeah, what the yeah, subtleties yeah, yeah, are yeah, and yeah. everything else. I mean, there are six vocal springs we, um, that I essentially work through. So, uh, and the floating brain being the first one. What um, do you mean by the floating brain? Uh, so this active brain sort of encased in fluid up here. Okay? Yeah. Uh, and then you've got the, the soft palate. You've got the mylohyoid. You've got the diaphragm. You've got the pelvic floor and the possibly the most important vocal spring of all which is the feet okay and so what, what, what do you mean by vocal spring then essentially i get people to, th to think of these are all on the horizontal okay yes. yeah so if you think of these 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 uh these springs are all on the horizontal you know, the diaphragm the pelvic yep. floor and everything and there's sort of a trampolining action to all of them okay and the voice i, I presume that if you make a noise you know you're going to have resonance or through your whole body you should do a lot of some people have resonance here some people feel it here everyone feels it differently ideally we're looking for a good chest resonance um but uh, essentially that's for me to find out where they're feeling it and for them to find out where they're feeling that 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 resonance uh if they're as adults feeling it too much in the throat then it might be something that wants to be addressed it might should display that there's a little bit of tension up here or the vocal mechanism hasn't developed fully um, hasn't reached its adult position, um, but essentially those those first part, well, all of the exercises in the voice gym work those six springs. And and uh, what's brilliant about the first sort of session that I put me through, I get a, so much feedback on how they uh, uh, how these springs are functioning. Particularly uh, in modern society, I find that everyone's legs are extremely tight, shutting off the lower springs of the body, and um, just by going through these exercises, it can you know sort, sort of reprogram so when we're talking exercises so yeah. among with all of these exercises mm. you're vocalizing that's right all yeah. of them across yeah. the board making sounds but ideally as to keep that creative brain ac active i like to use text and an awful lot of text uh, poems uh, yeah. uh, bits of text you know, out there so there's always you know the eye, yeah. eye I, I mean, the brain is active as well because clearly you know my um, I think the, the, the tongue is the most essential mm -hmm. organ here yeah. for the development of craniofacial form yeah. so I'm saying that if you don't have good craniofacial structure and I'm taking the fact that almost no one has perfect craniofacial structure mm -hmm. in a modern society mm -hmm. so we're all suffering from various different shades of your know, craniofacial mm -hmm. dystrophy face dropping back then i see some of these um cine radiography mm -hmm. shots yeah where people are vocalizing sounds mm -hmm. someone's taking an x-ray uh, uh, like a, um, a video mm -hmm. x-ray which mm -hmm. is quite high dosage actually mm -hmm. but then you can see these organs moving, the tongue moving. Yeah. And when you see the tongue making certain sounds, it really is filling up that cavity. It is, absolutely. Absolutely yeah. filling that cavity. For up. example, I will get people lying down on their back, the very first thing to do, and go through some vowel sounds. Okay. Yeah. And I might get them to wriggle around the floor to give them a bit of a distraction, but I'd be amazed at the amount of people that cannot do certain vowels because they've lost the vertical at the back of their mouth there. Okay. Yeah. And which, which 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 vowels particularly? Right, so they might be say ah very easily. So say ah. an ah, A-K, then to eh, easily, eh. eh. Then they always get the British always get stuck on the e because e. they go e. Okay, so I then challenge them and say right now open your mouth wider and say the e, e. e. Like for the purpose of this exercise, I want you to go e, e. Yeah. Okay. And same with oo, not oo, but oo, 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 oo. But yeah, more of a, a primal sound. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. You know, primarily because as a singer, <laughs> you wouldn't go on the higher register. E you would want e okay, and the same on the U vowel. Ooh, you need ooh, you need the space at the back of the mouth so the sound can resonate in the body. Okay, yeah. This is where the singing voice is so important uh, yes. in in therapy and to, as a good yeah. tool to test oh, just, just function in the jaw. The same way as I'm saying, because of downswing in craniofacial structure, there's no space for the teeth. No. You're saying there's no space for vocalization. Yeah, for the tongue. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they, they're both, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, well, we're both on the same page. Yeah. We're looking at this from a different angle. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> clearly, so now you, you, you're also telling me you're working with some Pilates instructors. That's right. Yeah, so I have an involvement with body control Pilates here in London, and I also lecture and present on body control Pilates Central TV. Right. Yeah. Okay, so what I'll make sure of is I'll get all these links and I'll put all of these links in the um, text underneath. So mm -hmm. if anyone wants to follow this through, mm -hmm. if anyone wants to come and see you yeah. and get some advice, because I think this is a very good different avenue. Yeah, you know, for so. people who are trying to gain self-improvement, and it you know, impresses me all of those people out there who are following the, the, this mewing craze that... It, it's good don't get too focused on appearance and it, it's important because if you gain an upswing in facial form you it's a good measurement of what you've achieved but it's it's function mm. i'm most important with you mm -hmm. know you can get your tongue you can get tongue space mm -hmm. to sing yeah you're much likely less likely i believe yeah to gain sleep apnea i would totally agree yeah. yeah, and so that's our, 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 our position, a mm -hmm. good position statement, and we both agree with that. So if you've got sleep apnea, you should be considering some of these exercises. They're, I'm yeah. not going to say they're the be-all or end-all. I'm not going to say we've got great evidence to link yeah. them together. But, oh, I'd be very surprised if they didn't help a lot. No, of course, no. Yeah, so um, Alex, what's the take-home message then to people? <laughs> so but people need to explore I'm, I'm are yeah, you from my wealth of experience it's it's I know we put a lot of pressure on dentists to do the job but I think patients need to take an awful lot more responsibility and I think parents need to be actively involved in educating children into doing good exercise uh, to support treatment and I think parent involvement is essential um, and I think pressure needs to be taken off dentists and we need to put a, a little bit of focus on functional exercise alongside treatment or pre-treatment. Yeah, and then go and check out the voice gym if you can go and see Alex. <laughs> uh, he's based in London. Yeah, and as I say, I'm educating Pilates teachers in this world to try and create a network of teachers who have a good understanding of the work so that eventually there's a chance by which you could send them to uh, on a regular basis to yeah. do some of this work. Yeah, and, and our big focus is here, really, it's for the young ones, it's prevention. Yep. For the people who are a little bit older who didn't get the benefit of prevention, yep. it's supporting any treatment they gain. That's right. Particularly, you know, and I don't want to sway you what to do, but I, I'm recommending therapies that provide more tongue space. Yep. So any therapy that provides more tongue space, assistance and th th then we're going to get into the older category of people who are suffering from symptoms mm -hmm. that they this is another adjunct you know if you're in that that mewing category or even older you, you this is another adjunct this is another avenue down which you can explore to gain personal benefit and mm -hmm. um, personal improvement mm. I will. I want to come and spend more time with you, Alex. I think it was done. We did try and set that up yeah, last yeah. year, and it, it would be we couldn't get it to work. I think we need to try that again because I'd love to bring some more of what you're doing yeah, yeah. into the fold of what I'm doing, mm -hmm. so we can try and start combining things. Because yeah. the more angles we attack from, the better result we get. Yeah, I totally agree. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.